Alright, here we go. A little test. Get some rope climbs done. Ten minutes. Try and keep it nice and smooth. most complete upper body exercise. The goal is not to tie yourself out as quickly as possible. Goal is more, keep it pretty smooth and gradually be able to accomplish more work. What's good is they feel good on the tendons at the moment. Probably the biggest lesson that I keep relearning is to try and get a lot of volume of easy stuff done. High reps are the secret. See if my hands are going to hold up to this. I don't actually consider this to be uh, low intensity stuff because there's a component of this where you've only really got one hand on the rope with body weight, so that's high intensity. Riz, depends how you do it. Feet on the rope, rope climbs, I would consider low intensity unless you're going very fast. Keep building a bigger base. If you think about real world strength, the ability to climb makes a lot of sense. All the upper body muscles getting something done here. A lot of work for the grip, which is key.
there are lots, lots and lots of variations in rope climbs and how you do them when you get right into it. Subtle differences in the amount that you reach, body tilt, how far you are on each grab, how, far, how much distance you cover. So find a mess around with any kind, just get on the rope. If you can't yet do a rope climb without your feet, you can try using your feet, but I'm not a big fan of that. But what I would suggest instead would be just do our chin ups or just accumulate time on the rope. Probably actually one of the most impressive strength feats that I've seen and inspiring was actually the Leeds Rhinos training under Steve Walsh, my uncle as the head coach, Tony Smith. Uh, he had players like Chris, Chris Feather, who now uh, is running, or 98 Riley Street uh, in Sydney, training Jim Jones stuff, the most balls out kind of training method that there is. Um, those guys were flying up ropes and it was massive. Other guys who I've taken a lot of inspiration from, had the chance to train with quite a bit, uh, even interview at one stage there. It was uh, Marcus Bondi, the crew there at the Bondi Bars. Stan, who's a super nice guy, always looked after me. Those guys train accumulation on the ropes. And uh, if you ever check out their pulling work, you understand why they're so respected and known all around the world. It does make a big difference what kind of rope you have. It's like one of the thick black nylon ones. I've actually got one out here for uh, like battle ropes. You're not gonna have the same joy. It's one of the, again, faster ones. It's pretty nice. Uh, still better with chalk, but fairly easy to climb. You can be pretty sure all the old time strongmen would have climbed ropes with no trouble. I think it's a pretty good measure if you've gone too far in specializing on barbell stuff. If you get to the point where you don't climb, can't climb well, then you might have gone out of balance, lost track of a bigger picture of strength, performance, Uh, 
10 minutes of road work, finished the session. I did some uh, elastic bench and some front squats and some forearm work. Uh, pushed the lawnmower for a couple of hours before that. Trick is, accumulate work. You don't have to go crazy with stuff that you can't repeat. Just continue to get a little bit better. Eventually you end up somewhere good. So, tempering your intensity the majority of the time, 80, 90% of the time, it's actually the way forward. Just keep turning up, looking for small improvements. I think that's the, the key to success and make sure if your goal is a big strength, still accumulate some volume. If you're accumulating volume in your sport, if you're doing something else that gives you volume, if you're a rower, you don't necessarily have to get that sort of work done in the gym. If you're training for Ironman, surf life saving, triathlon, you don't necessarily have to get higher rep done, work done in the gym. But if all you do is gym work, you need to do some, uh, some accumulation work, pump, hypertrophy, but also just baseline circulation, heavy, like loaded carries, long walks, hills, any of that sort of stuff. It's gonna keep you alive long enough to experience and take the benefits out of your, your strength work. If that goal is super aging, going as far as you can, as healthy as you can, as long as you can in life. Um, that's what I'm trying to do. Take performance as high as I can, continue to improve. I think I'll still be improving in my 40s, in my 50s. Um, you know, Charles Staley's a guy I look up to. He's hitting PBs in his mid 50s on deadlifts and things like that, so. Um, I don't want to wait till then, but this is a marathon. Keep accumulating work, keep being consistent. That's the, the name of the game. Don't have one massive workout that makes you dread going back to the gym again and, and miss for a month. Just be consistent, keep turning up. Good things happen, same in life. Talk to you soon, guys.